After watching this video, you'll know exactly how to start trading as a beginner on the Bluffin exchange. In this video, I'll go through sign up, how to deposit crypto or cash, how to withdraw, spot trading, derivatives trading, and also how to go through the copy trading settings. So watch this video until the very end. Do not miss out on any important steps to start trading like a pro on Bluffin. Let's dive right in. Down in the description of this video, you will see I've got three exchanges listed here. The first three links Bybit, Bluffin and Mexi and today we'll be focusing on Bluffin and how to trade it, what the settings looks like, how to get money in and out of the exchange and the first thing you need to do is click on this link and once you've clicked on this link you'll land on a page like this. Make sure that it says Bitcoin Census Devil here on the top and that is the only way that you will qualify for up to an $80,000 bonus depending on how much you deposit and trade. Here are the T's and C's that you can go and read through and all you need to sign up to this exchange is either an email and a password or phone number and a password and once you've captured these details you'll just have to say I have read and agreed to the bluff in terms and conditions and then you'll get to a next page that asks you to enter your one-time pin either sent to your phone number or the email address that you use to register with. At the moment there's no KYC required for this exchange so it is quite accessible to most people around the world. Right this is the page that you will land on after you've signed up with your phone number or email and password to enter the verification code either sent to your cell phone or in my case the email address that I used to register for on this exchange. After entering this number you will then land on the home page once you've signed in. Once you've entered your verification code you will land on the Bluffin home page over here and here is where you can go and buy crypto to start trading like a pro. So what you would need to do to get money into this exchange is say buy crypto. On the buy crypto page this is where you can go and buy crypto from your bank account and deposit it into the Bluffin exchange. Here you can say I for example want to buy $1,000 and you can go and select your local currency and then it will tell you how much you are going to receive. Okay, you can then using the alchemy section over here, you can use Visa, MasterCard or Google Pay. And there's a couple of more options, Apple Pay to then go and deposit money into this exchange. You will then receive USDT, which is a stable coin where you can then start trading. Another way to get money into the exchange, if you have money on an existing crypto wallet or another exchange, you can transfer money from that exchange into the Bluffin exchange by going here onto the assets tab. You'll see you have overview and funding. You want to go here click on funding and here you will see I've got zero USDT currently in this account. If I would like to deposit USDT into this account I can then say deposit over here and then here I can select from which coin to which coin I want to deposit. So if you have USDT in another exchange or in a crypto wallet or Bitcoin and Ethereum you can go and select that coin over here make sure that it's applicable and then you can transfer the money from that platform into this platform with no hassle. Just remember that when you deposit money make Make sure that you use the same network on Bluffin and the same network on the other exchange or crypto wallet that you're transferring the money from. So if I'm transferring USDT over here from another wallet into this wallet, make sure that the networks that you select here correspond because if the networks don't correspond, you might have an issue where the money doesn't appear in your wallet. So an important step not to miss out on. The one that I generally like to use is PEP20 over here and the fees are quite low. So in order for me to transfer money from another exchange into this exchange they will charge me one dollar transaction fee you can then select the network and you can use this address over here where you can copy it or you if it's from your phone for example you can take your phone and take a picture of the qr code over here and then you can send money from that wallet or platform into this exchange after you've then sent the money it will then appear when you go back to assets and funding and the coins with the biggest balances like if you transferred USDT it will appear first year with the available balance inside of it. Here you can see I've transferred $5,000 USDT into my funding account at the moment. Now if I would like to start trading like spot trading I would need to transfer this money out of my funding account into the relevant account that I wish to start doing trading from. So if I would like to do spot trading you can click here on transfer and here you can see you've got your funding account and you've got whichever account you wish to start trading from okay so if I'd like to do copy trading I would need to transfer the money into the copy trading account if I'd like to do earn account where I earn some interest on the money inside of my account that's where I'd need to transfer it to and then the spot account where I do normal one-to-one -one ratio trading only to the upside where I can then do spot trading for the purposes of this video let's go do a little spot trading over here and I will transfer $1,000 into my spot trading account and you will 
say confirm and you will see the money will then be transferred out of my funding account into my spot account so when i go and click here on spot or i can go to my assets and click on spot either or you will then see that i have a thousand dollars here to trade with inside of the spot account then to start doing spot trading you will go here where it says spot over here you will click on spot and then it will open up the trading spot page over here right and it's very easy to get started you will see it has a little buy and a sell feature over here also market limit and trigger and for the purposes of this video i will only go through market and limit over here and then how much you want to buy you can drag the slider up and down in terms of how much money you would like to deploy into a specific coin you will then also see the default is here on the bitcoin usdt pair and let's say for example you want to go and buy solana you can either select it from this list or you can go and search for your favorite altcoin inside of the list and they have many altcoins here inside of this list to go and choose from okay so let's go and buy a little bit of solana once you've selected solana you will see that the symbol will appear over here right then if you would like to go and buy a little bit of solana you will then say i want to buy some solana and then market price is it will offer it to you at the current market price which means once you buy at the market price it will immediately fill your position okay if you select limit order you can then go and type in at which price you would like to buy solana so if you would like to buy solana cheaper and you believe the price is still going to fall a little bit from here you can for example say i want to go and buy solana here at 150 dollars and you can go and type in i want to buy solana at 150 right how much solana do you want to buy do you want to use 50 percent of your account which is 500 dollars do you want to use 30 percent and so forth right for the purposes of this video let's say i want to use 50 percent and i'm going to use 500 dollars and then you can go and say buy solana you confirm okay and then when the price hits 150 dollars it will use 500 dollars of the thousand dollars to go and buy solana for you okay and you will see that the order has been placed inside here where it says open orders and it's ready to buy your solana at 150 dollars okay i'm just going to cancel it over here right now it's cancelled the order successfully market buy means you are buying right now at the moment at the offered market price so i can leave it here on market order and i can say i want to buy 200 dollars of solana i can say buy and then confirm the order and you will see that it's just bought a nice little 200 bag of solana for me always just remember that when you buy over here when you say amount okay it will say 200 then you are buying 200 solana and not 200 usd when you say total then it will change here to usdt so when you type 200 usdt it will then buy 200 usdt worth of solana for you when i then go here in the bottom where it says order history when i select there it will say okay there i've just bought the solana that i've just filled at the moment at 200 dollars and it will show me you've bought 200 dollars and you got 1.297 solana okay and there's the order that i cancelled if i would then like to sell my solana because perhaps i've made some nice profits here to the upside i will then go into the sell feature over here make sure that it's set on usdt and i can then go and sell all of the solana that i've bought and click on sell it will ask you to confirm i confirm and now i have sold all the solana that i had so very straightforward you buy you sell market order to buy immediately or to sell immediately at the market price limit order to set specific prices at where you want to buy and where you want to sell and that's basically how the spot feature works next up let's tackle the features trading over here and like i've mentioned during the beginning now i would like to transfer some cash into the features account so sometimes you just have to swap these around by clicking the arrows at the bottom so i want to transfer money from my funding account into my features account so i'll just click this arrow it will swap them around it will tell me how much money i have available and then i can go and say i want to transfer a thousand dollars into my features account confirm and then the money is deducted from my funding account and it's now inside my features account so when i now go to features trading the first option over here i can click on features and it will now take me into the features trading platform now that i'm inside the features trading platform it works very similar to the spot trading platform that i've just shown you here you can go and select the coins that you would like to trade you can also go and search 
or whichever coin you would like to trade. So there's Rune, for example, or you can go and select from the list over here. For now, I'm just going to use Bitcoin over here, right? And here also very similar. The first thing you have to notice, and this is the biggest difference between a features account and a spot account. A spot account is you just buy at the current price and it has a one-to-one -one relationship with if Solana, for example, goes up by 10%, it means that you make 10% on how much you've bought. Features account is a little bit more different where isolate it basically means that if you are isolating a trade it means that if that trade goes against you or you liquidate the account only the money that you've opened up trading that specific coin will be liquidated or stopped out for example if you say cross margin over here and personally i wouldn't recommend using this feature but if you have multiple trades open at the same time trading different coins and one of those trades goes really against you it takes the money from your entire account to try and compensate for that loss over there so you could have five winning trades and one massive losing trade that then liquidates your entire account regardless of the wins for the other coins that you have so to keep it simple i always like to keep it isolate it you say confirm make sure that it's always isolated on there and then leverage this is how much leverage you can apply to each trade so if you are trading with a hundred dollars and you select one over there you are still just trading with a hundred dollars when you select two it takes the hundred dollars and it multiplies it by two or three or five so the benefit of this is you can take a hundred dollars and by selecting five x over here it is as if you are trading with five hundred dollars so if the price then moves with one percent to the upside you will make profit on five hundred dollars instead of just your one hundred dollars and then obviously the higher up you go the more it multiplies that money from a leverage perspective but i i do want to warn you that this can become very dangerous if you don't know how to do this properly because you can just imagine if i use a hundred x over here okay and it does give you a little warning here to say high leverage please trade with caution what this basically means is that if you play with a hundred dollars at a hundred x leverage you are basically trading with ten thousand dollars what this then also means is if the price goes up by one percent for example and you've played along to the upside you will then double your account because you're playing with a hundred percent over here okay but also when the price goes against you with one percent you liquidate that entire position and you lose your entire one hundred dollars so it might sound amazing that you can go and multiply the money that you are trading with but you need to do it with an exceptionally good risk management so i hope the leverage setting here makes sense for example i have now transferred a thousand dollars into this account by applying five or ten x leverage it means that i can now when i play a full hundred percent of my position it will times whatever i'm selecting over here with 10 okay so i can now go and say market which buys at the current market price which means it will immediately open a position here for me or i can say limit like i've just explained during the spot position session where you can buy in at specific prices that you are targeting i like to use market order over here because i like to see the price movements and analyze the price and buy in exactly where i need to buy in and exit exactly where i need to exit so let's go and place a trade over here so if i open up a hundred dollar position over here i type in one hundred dollars okay it will then open up a thousand dollar position for for me because at times whatever i put in here by 10 okay which means i get the upside but i also need to be careful because the downside can also do a lot of damage so i can then leave it on market here and i can go and buy along or i can go and add a stop loss and a, a profit taking area over here as well so tp is for where you want to take profits and sl is for where you want your stop loss to trigger i generally like to add this in after i've put in the trade and not really before i put in the trade okay so the way that i do is i leave this off for now i will then go and buy or sell over here buy means i want to play the market to the upside sell means i want to play the market to the downside so you can the benefit of features trading is you can play the market to the up and to the downside and make profits so with spot trading you can only win when the market goes up so what I've shown you now is the basic things to get started to start trading on features trading here on Bluffin. Very simple, very easy. The last thing I would like to share with you is copy trading over here. And when I click here, you'll see a button that says copy trading. It will take me into the copy trading page.
And then once you are inside the copy trading page, you will see that there are people that you can go and follow and copy their trades. And for the purposes of this video, I've shared with everyone that I'm going to start doing copy trading inside of here. So what you would need to do is go and search for me by clicking on this little search feature over here and you'll say Diavol and then I will pop up over here. If you would then like to copy my trades, you would then click copy. And once you are on this page, it will give you a lot of details about myself. So if you would like to copy trade my trades, like I've said, you would need to transfer money into your copy trading account. And then you can go and follow the trades that I place. I just quickly want to share with you what are some of the settings you need to look out for. Okay, once you click here on the copy button next to me, it will bring up a page that looks like this. Let's start with a fixed amount first. You will see the total investment is the total amount that you would like to invest in the copy trading account. Okay, the cost per order is every time I open a trade, okay, it will only use this amount to place that trade with. So you could, for example, have a $1,000 account, but for every trade that I open, it will only use $100 of the $1,000 so that you don't risk all your capital during every single trade and then you'll see here's a little advanced button and if you click on that it's this very straightforward like it says over here if the margin mode if i select isolated or i select cross margin it will copy whatever i'm doing here but you can also manually set it to what you want to set it to either cross or isolated by leaving it here on the copy trader margin mode it will just copy exactly what i'm doing when i'm executing the trades okay then also, just go back here to advanced, you can go and set your own leverage. So you can either leave it to say that if I select 10x leverage for a specific trade, you will then copy the exact amount of leverage that I'm using for that trade. Okay, so if you have $1,000 in here, you only want to use $100 per trade and you select your own fixed leverage over here of 10x it means that every time i open a trade it will take your hundred dollars and times it by 10 so that you're playing with a thousand dollars every time i open a trade or you can just leave all of this to copy traders leverage which means that it will just copy everything that i do if i change the leverage to 2x leverage or i use 5x leverage it will automatically apply the leverage to your amount as well Okay, then you can also go and select your own profit taking areas and stop losses over here. Okay, so you can say I want to take profits every time I make 20% and I never want my stop loss to exceed 5% loss of my capital. Or by not selecting this option, it will automatically copy the risk management settings and profit taking areas that I apply. So by se selecting your own stop losses and your own profit taking areas, you could end up in a scenario where you get stopped out of a trade before I get stopped out and you take profits prematurely because you've played around with these settings. So my trading setup could, for example, be that I want to take profits at the 50% area. And if you select 10 or 20%, it means it will cash you out before it hits my profit target. Or I, for example, have a 10% stop loss margin that I've applied. You leave it on 5%. You get stopped out of the trade where I could potentially still make money when it hits my profit taking areas because your stop loss was a little bit too tight. Okay, but these settings are completely up to you as the trader. If you would like to be more conservative and have a tighter stop loss and take profits a lot sooner, definitely these settings are up to the trader in terms of how they want to follow. But if you would like a more one-to-one -one relationship experience to what the master trader is doing over here you would just untick the setting and it will copy exactly what the master trader is doing in, in terms of his trades this is basically the easiest copy trading settings that i can explain that will make sense to most of the people out there right the fixed ratio settings are a little bit more complex so for now i'm just sticking to the fixed amount settings as it's very easy and simple to understand Many people often ask me, Devil, which altcoins do you invest in? If you would like to see my 10x portfolio that I've got planned for the next bull cycle, go check out this video right now. And until the next one, cheers for now.